Stop provoking me. I am not Jesus Christ. How many times should I tell you that? Holiness equal to holiness. Power to power. I have to serve you breakfast. Look here, my dear friend. I don't deal in such material things. In the absence of my mother, the people of all ventures will know what to do. Holy Spirit. So you have to depend on the people of all ventures even for breakfast. Wonderful. I am not the Holy Spirit. Do I know the difference between Holy Spirit or spirit things? All I know is that you are hungry. I am not You hungry. are hungry. I say so, you are hungry. Holy one, what is happening here? for yourselves. This woman, whosoever she is, is becoming a dictator in my own residence. So I implore you to have breakfast with dictation. In my own house. Don't be deceived by her soft voice. She is a visiting dictator. Madam, now answer me. Is that true? I will start by training to cast sitting here in one proper discipline. <laughs> and what about you? I have educated myself on the job. The both of you should think and make proposals for the training program. Look at the young man sitting down there at the Becky's residence doing nothing, sir. Because he knows nothing. Yes, sir. I think he needs training in some few things. The other day I was there, he tried to talk to me in a way... He tried to talk to you in what way, Maria? Tell me everything. He offered me a seat, then a drink and encourage me to enjoy myself in the place. But there was something wrong in the way he made the offer. Well, I don't see that as a problem. We all know the young man treats ladies well. This company knows that, even the city. Uka, please, he should not treat Marian well. He should treat Marian with respect. Marian is a senior staff. Sir, why are you always jumping to Marian's defense? It's my job, Uka. I have to protect the general image of the company and ensure discipline and respect. Toka, do you not feel comfortable here? Very comfortable. Very good. That is a consequence of my hard work and discipline. I also feel very comfortable, sir. Only one who is annoying you. My friend, be quiet. And what do you want to do? Holy one, I cannot allow anybody to annoy you. What have you been telling her? Holy one, who is she? I have been coming here so many times. And there is no servant who is as aggressive as you. That's your problem. I am aggressive. I will not let you sit here and annoy the Holy Virgin. Leave her alone. She is a lonely woman. And many things can be going through her mind. She has not annoyed me. Holy One, this Holy Spirit in you makes you to accept everything. At times you have to be human and let me protect you. By doing what? Fighting in my defense? Yes, Holy One, I can fight. Then you are in the wrong place. This is a place of peace. Yes, a place of peace, where everyone comes in and take advantage of the holy person. That's all what you human want. I say leave her alone. Don't defend me. I must defend you. Holy one, imagine them human. Are they not the ones who nailed Jesus Christ on the cross? Oh, you want me to forget about them or to leave them alone? So as I was saying, we have to identify where training is needed most and import experts to train local manpower. The welding and repair department needs a qualified manpower urgently. China can offer us assistance in that domain. I have seen many Chinese waiters on work sites. So do we contact or import uh, trainers from China? Well, I think we should import trainers directly from China. The local Chinese we have here are already corrupt. Tuka, put out a notice for recruitment for untrained manpower. I will do just that. Uh, I will make the announcement in my village meetings over the radio and even over the uh, television stations. I will also make the announcement in my family meetings. What is wrong with the both of you? Village meeting, family meeting. What is that? Charity begins at home, sir. That was said by the English people. That is not what I want. I want the information to be made public. We want to interview and recruit the best of the lot. Well, I will do my best, sir. You see, the carpentry and timber department also need special attention. From the lot we will recruit and train, every department will be taken care of. Sir, many people don't recognize your devotion to this company. I don't know why. 
Who do you call people? He has the best salary in this place. Toka, how did you come about that? You must have been messing around with our computers. Toka. You see, you have to go away and come back some other time. There is nothing you can say in the presence of this woman. I understand, Holy One. It seems she has not responded to your blessings. Yes, I think so. How can you think so of me? Am I not here because of you? Then maybe you should go away because of me. Huh? And stop trying to intrude in my interventions. How can you be tired of service and protection? Holy One, who is this woman who is so concerned about your well-being? My dear, don't mind her. It's a self-created responsibility. Do I need this kind of protection or service? Don't disgrace me in front of this stranger. She is not a stranger. You are the stranger. Okay, madam. You can start moving. As you can see, you've made the Holy One to be nervous. Here, we don't push people, so find your way out. My dear, next time. Okay, Holy One. Thank you very much. Mr. Agua, I invited you here to blame you. That does not surprise me. You think I was created to be blamed. You should blame God. I cannot blame God. We had the contract with you, not with God. Very soon we'll talk about money. I'm right on that. Where is your daughter? I have many doctors. Legitimate and illegitimate. Look, Agua, you know the daughter I am talking about. I mean the one with commercial value. All my daughters have commercial values. My friend, stop talking that way. Do you know what commercial value means? By all ventures, commercial value is what brings undeserved profit. My good friend, where is the source of your new courage? Let me remind you, I'm a human being like you. I think and act. Better say you think and you drink. If that's the way you see me, then you can give me a bottle of beer. Look, Mr. Agua, let's be serious. Your daughter, whose hand this company was to give in marriage, has disappointed us. That's terrible. Has she lost her hand? When did that happen? You see that I know nothing about my own daughters. My friend, be quiet. Your daughter has escaped to Dubai with another man. Fortunately, it's not a fatal accident. What a difference between one young man and another. Mr. Agua, you can see that it's getting late. Be serious. You have to do something about this. What do you think I can do? Uh, I don't like to be overestimated. I have no great control over my daughters or my children. It would be greatly in your interest to bring back your runaway daughter or replace her with another daughter. That will make no difference. Yes. You see, your daughters are not particularly beautiful. We can manage the opinion of the group. Sir, I think that your crazy is stupid. Mr. Agua, you know who you are talking to. Yes, I'm talking to you, the great computer officer of all ventures. Look, it's now clear that you have lost your senses. Your children are like you. I don't want ever to be caught for such stupid question. Look, do you know you can be punished for all what you have said? Please give me some money. I have to be on my way. Uh, we are expecting a certain calamba for a job interview today. Who made the appointment? You did, sir. You are becoming so distracted. Ever since you shaved to look younger, your attitude has changed. Toka, you have no right to talk to me that way. I know, sir, but I have a right to my observations. I mean, how could you forget uh, the recent interview today? You know, for some time now, I've noticed a kind of insubordination in your attitude. No, sir, I'm just getting more experience and can detect uh, laxity at high levels. Laxity in high place, that happens to be me. Now I teach you that there is no laxity in high places. Anyway, I'm going to send you on a short mission. You will not be part of that interview. Young man, is that how you enter an office unannounced? Sir, the lady at the secretary is sleeping. I couldn't wake her up. Waking her up is more disruptive than coming in to the main office of all ventures. I'm sorry, sir. Being new here and trying to respect time, just walked in. Sit down, we have other things to do. Toka! 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 Sir. How many times have I called your name? Three times, sir. Please sit down. I know you want to take my place in this company, but you will not succeed. This young man has come to see you or me. To see us, sir. Please sit down. Um, uh, do not mind us, okay? Uh, Temper usually rise fast and fall fast. 
Well, I apologize on behalf of the company for our attitude this morning. Sir, why are you bringing yourself and the company down? How can you apologize to an applicant? Applicants are human beings and have right to good treatment at all levels. You're welcome, young man. So now, can we know you better? Yes, sir. I brought my CV. It may help you to know me better and faster. 